My name is Walter, this is Oso, and welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. I, uh, I'll, I'll be back. All right, happy puppy. Yeah, welcome back to the show, guys. I appreciate all of you for tuning in, riding along, tapping in, showing up. Um, thank you to everyone who donates to the channel. Still got the giveaway in in effect. Uh, pardon me, got a really cool concert poster from Red Rocks, but still got the. FNF gig and some Hot Wheels t-shirts, some stuff, really cool stuff in this box. Perhaps my lack of uploads has contributed to the fact that there's only a few people who've donated and entered themselves into the giveaway, so I, I'm going to hold off until I feel like there's a entertainable amount. Anyway, welcome to the show. I, uh, I actually wasn't planning on on doing a show. Uh, my my family and I, my village, we were all camping and uh, out of service, which is rad. And uh, I got to service, and I got a message from uh, from my friend Crystal. That my friend Sammy lost a dad. That my friend Crystal lost a life partner. I lost a friend. The Hot Wheels community lost a collector, a big fanatic of Camaros. The world lost a human. Gosh, man, it's this, uh, doing this show is important to some people and I'm not sure if it's important to you watching but it was important to my friend Papo and that makes me feel more valid and for that I love you my dude I appreciate you you were loved I didn't understand that she didn't understand that weird stuff man um I hope you know what if you guys are alive and really understand what it means to be alive. Leave a message in the comments so so Crystal and Sammy can read it and just know that also, you know, their guy was loved too and recognized, you know, just even just his name, Papo, P A P O. Um I, I think we all would wish someone would pay attention to us when our Uh, Sammy, I forgot to tell your mom, yes, I got your sticker. It's so cool. It's like a Hot Wheels card. This is this was a gift from Papa from Sammy from Papa's kid. Um, yeah guys, really just pause this and just do recognize a human being. That'd be cool. Yeah, I I'm gonna take a pause. Man, to any of you guys who did, I, we, they appreciate you. Thank you. I wish good things to you all. Ugh. Papa watched my show a lot. He watched it all and he watched it from beginning to end. And I'm just thankful. So I want to do my best to give you guys a good show. Celebrate my friend Papa. Our friend Papa. The community. And uh, <laughs> I always like, probably should just start with the war report then. Yeah? You want to get into the news? Let's get into it. Like Clark Kent. All right. What's going on in the world, man? Tuesday, May 30th, the uh, Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge 
uh, launches on NBC. I feel like I'm going to have to watch it to report on it. Although I think it is a terrible idea before I've even seen the show. Uh, as well as it's probably going to invite some people to the hobby. I don't know if it's the kind of people we want in the hobby. Real talk. Holla at your boy. Pulling zero punches anymore. Through being nice. What else is going on? Oh, snap. Uh, the RLC, the Red Line Club, is releasing a uh, 1986 Porsche 959. That thing... It's beautiful. Hello, good morning, tell me what the lick read. Pretty face, thin waist with the sick weed. First time fish telling in the six feet. Real bad boy, tell him come and get me. I'm at the fight. Bang kind of like Bellman. Only took a trip to the truck twice. Unpack the Mac 11 and their Maxis. Stuff six figures in my damn air mattress. Uh, I'm in love with large bills. and down with a fat ass, then waist and tall heels. Yeah, it's the tough long dawn. Honey, Karis in the trunk, trying to give it back to Sean. I'm, I'm blown away by that car. It, it's a really good example. So much I had to give it a, a real tribute and celebration by making a video at it. Um, funny though, because if I remember right, um, Matchbox has just released a, maybe a uh, 1980 Porsche 911 Turbo. And when, and when you say, when, when you're talking about Porsches or 911s, you, you gotta let it know if it's a turbo or 4S. There's just uh, Carreras, rather. But it, it it really helped define what that car is. So uh, Porsche names aren't for the uh, the lazy men folk. So just sharing that with you. Yeah, I think it's dope. Spectra Flame Red. Those real riders. Oh. Uh, what else? What else happened? Oh. I was, uh, I really don't enjoy Reddit, but I was on Reddit and, uh, fella Alan Grant, I believe he, uh, he got an RLC car. It was good. It was the 454 SS, but I guess it came on the upcoming, uh, 67 Camaro card. And I guess that was on the front and on the back. It was the real 454 SS details and I was surprised at how few people called BS on him and everything because just, you know, our community, but I was happy to see some people had some input, some insight, and I'm not sure the process of building the cards, but my, my history of, uh, of building and selling things, you know, those kind of mistakes have happened. So I believe it to possibly be true and is it going to be worth thousands? I don't know. I don't know. But cool. Cool on you, man. Um, I think if you really want the proper 454, it's available if they're out there. You know? Um, yeah. What else? What else? While I was back in service and got online, I always I, I subscribe and watch uh, the Ministry of Diecast. And they were nice enough to share the new team transport stuff. Yeah. yeah. Really, really strong lineup. What is it? The Alfa Romeo 155 V6 with the Fleet Flyer. What I believe is going to be the grab. Uh, the 61 Impala and the C10. Well, it's not C10. They don't call it that. It's the ramp truck. And then lastly in that mix is going to be a 76 Rover P6 Group B 
really cool race car if you don't know anything about it. Um, and the HW Rally Hauler. I'm not sure if that's a new option. I'm not sure if, I don't believe it's a new cast. It, it might, I'm not sure. We're gonna do some research. What else? What else? Anything? Nope. Guess that's about it for the war report. You guys are probably wondering if I went peg hunting, and I did. I went, uh, we went camping. We've been camping every weekend. Different day, different lake, kind of, kind of vibe, so. Well, well, you guys check out. Yeah, I'll show you. And we're packing it up, but here's a little hack for you guys. Use popsicles when you're packing your coolers for camping because not only do they keep your stuff cold, but when they melt, you got a treat. Back. Moon I paddle. My, I brought my blanket. Nice. Just in case I get cold. It's a really good one. We all used to jump off all the bridges. But there was hunting before all that shenanigans. Um, we're going to stop for Stop Today's Hardware. Really random place to buy cars. Enjoy. Video, little video, thank you. I love, I'm a sir now. You bet. I'm a sir. I'm a Honda. Can you try it? No. Some decent cars in there. Nothing we need. But of course, she's got a dump gun over here. Got a 3900G for five. That sounds fair. Let's see. Porsche. I'm going to dig in here and I'll get back to you guys. Maybe you actually want to watch me dig through this thing. Right, we'll see. I'm going to pause it. Came in with a few cars. Uh, needed one of these to open. So, uh, I got the 88 Honda CRX from the J Import set. It's a really cool paint. It's like it's a matte silver, but it's got like a fleck to it. So the gold wheels, the tin spokes, man, they're right. Here's the rear tampo because that's the only one they finished, but they did a good job on that. Uh, really cool. You know, it's an 88. They did a did an 85 before. Yeah, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna post it here. Cause I don't have it. I remember I got the van from that set. Now I'm thinking I know where it is. It was in a Honda set. I also found. Oh, well, and this is an important car. I found the uh, LB, the Liberty Walk Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Long winded. And I said this was an important car because it is. It's, well, to me, and I think to a lot of the community, especially uh, the JDM guys who appreciate the Hot Wheels JDM collection because a lot of that stuff was done by Ryu Asada. He is also passed. Um, fuck cancer, sorry. Got the homie Papo, homie, a lot of people. And I'm sorry for anyone you guys have lost. Anyone I've lost. Ugh. Ryu. And this is critical because I believe this is Ryu's last design. This was his uh, last real works. 
in regard to Hot Wheels. So, um, that's just, uh, it makes an important car. And they've only, also, it's a collector piece for a number of reasons. Because of Ryu and Celebrate Him. But also, they only made, I think, five colorways. First, there was, first, there was white, maybe. There was a white one. Then a yellow one. A black one. red edition one I don't have that and then lastly this gold one so um, if you guys see it get it buy a couple buy a few cool casting as well as um, really celebrate someone but that was uh, that was my ace finds I actually found two of those Liberty walks got one to the homie Sam and I traded Sam that for this I'm not a big auto world guy. I, I mean, I'm not to say I'm not a big auto world guy. I'm just, I don't see very many of them. So I don't see a lot of castings along with that, which means I don't see a lot of ones I want to buy. This one I hadn't seen. And this is the 1984 Dodge Caravan. Now note I said Dodge Caravan, not Grand Caravan. Um, this is the very first offering in the caravans. Basically just like they built a people mover on the uh I'm pretty sure it was the K the K series. Like I don't know if you guys remember those old K cars, but uh it's kind of a shit box. So there's no other way to describe it. But it, they ran. Obviously it ran well enough to carry this big old body on it and that's cool. Um Later, they introduced the Grand Caravan, and pardon me, the van life. I'm a bit of a van nut before I got my van, but I've had a few already. Um, but before they introduced, they, they later introduced the Grand Caravan, and uh, they also end up dropping, I'm pretty sure it's a 2.5 liter turbo. So they dropped a turbo, it was like, I'm pretty sure it was 80s, 88, 89. little turbo car grand caravan you know it's like the first taste of mom's grocery getting it you know it's really cool van we i mean i think the world owes a lot to the chrysler co for creating this car and i i owe you a little bit too sam and i owe you and i'll show you what i got you because i went also to walmart and I'll let you guys see what I found with two Walmarts.
Walmart never fails to be Walmart. And I got no problems with it, but I was really stoked because he and I were just talking about this Boulevard set and they just released it at my Walmart. So I grabbed the uh, 96 Chevy Impala Super Sport for him and that's all I grabbed. There was, of course, there's no T1 or Civic and congrats to whomever picked those up. Um, they're fine. I'm, I'm taking a break from trying to piece together sets because I know incomplete sets motivate me to go hunting and I'd want to hunt more casual, more organically, you know, uh, not force it. It's a good thing that way, but this new Boulevard set's really tight. Here's the offering that you're going to find. All pretty good cars. They have the Escort. I just, again, I just didn't want I just got this for you, Sam. So, shout out to you. Jeez, from there, where did I go? Did I go elsewhere? Oh, oh snap. I left them, I left them out in the car. I also got the uh, Nissan 5-pack and the Fast and Furious 5-pack. And I bought them to sell them. So if you guys need one, let me know. That's the hobby. All of us do it. And if you don't, I wonder how else you're forwarding your hobby, you know. Um, I believe in the hobby pain help pay for itself especially me like single dad you know I'm just through being nice I mean it's not being bad it's just the reality of our hobby cheers to all you who are real about it oh snap I went to O'Reilly's too and I got some really cool stuff I gotta show you what I got from Walmart and that's going to introduce our segment of shit you buy when the pegs are empty. A bath fizzy surprise. Not just a bath bomb, but a fizzy surprise. You see the Roger Dodger on the front. I have no idea what our options are on here. It's a huge bath bomb. Or maybe there's a car poking out the back. I don't know. Ugh, I cannot wait to return this thing. But I am going to take a bath soon, so. It's for me to decide. But that's what I got at Walmart. If you guys get one and take a bath, let me know. I really want to know how fizzy it is. It's called a fizzy. From Wally World, you naturally transition to Target because they're always in the same area.
Picked up a really cool car there. Just one. And it's the Back to the Future Ford Super Deluxe. I'd been spending my whole day trying to find this stinking Toyota pickup. Spent a lot of time going to O'Reilly's. So it just felt like the car, sh the auto spots is where I was going to find it, but really hard to find key cars in the auto parts stores because uh, they're all, you know, they're gearheads already. So they're like, oh, I used to have 87 blue pickup, you know, I don't know. But uh, I was really stoked to find that. And this is actually one of my favorite castings. I treat this casting like gold so much that I can't find my original, but I bought enough of them that I have one loose. And I'm excited to show you guys how cool this casting is. And for you, you youngsters, you don't know, you're gonna have to check out the scene. Here you go. And that's where this car comes from. Now the differences are they seem to have added more, more items to the poop. It's, it's, uh, it's lighter color and has like spots of black in it and other colors like corn or I don't, I don't know. Um, also, the original one is a matte a matte black matte versus this gloss so there's quite a few differences and I have I, I don't know where I put it so I can't I believe the card might be different too but I'm gonna have to check that so don't don't hold me to that but really cool if you guys don't have this cast in and you don't have it loose which you should know that 49 Super Deluxe is actually unveiled in there. So the red interior, man, what a little well thought out car. That's exciting. Hopefully you guys are finding out on your pegs. Uh, it's in a pretty current mix of, uh, not car culture, Hot Wheels premium pop culture. But I spent all the time going to O'Reilly's and I popped in a bunch of them. I even got a gift certificate. Didn't find any cars, but popped in one that was customer appreciation. So they blessed me with all sorts of stuff. So got the uh, the gangster lean, the colors, the do rag thing. I'm not sure. It might be a shame. I don't know what it is. Got a cup. Ooh. Got this really nifty little pocket flat head. It's also, if you flip it over, it's got a Phillips head. What else did I get there? Oh, got a hat. What's your favorite color? Camo. Two hats then. Got a beer opener keychain. And last, I got this nifty magnet tray. You can use trays for a lot of things. I feel like I got something else, but I don't know what it is or where it is. Ah, oh, but no cars. No cars. Um, kind of typical. Oi, oi, is that what I got on my hunts? Is that it? Is that what I have to show you? I believe that is it. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. I, I Again, I appreciate you guys riding along, tuning in, tapping in. Everyone who's donated to the channel and entered into the giveaway, I, I, I assure you this box is, is all that jazz. Um, yeah, you know, and, and if you like what you're hearing, hit the like button. If you don't subscribe, subscribe. I don't know who else you subscribe to. I mean, put me in your channel lineup. 
notification button. Those are crucial to be notified of stuff. And I'll, I'll hopefully make worthy notificationable stuff. But uh, hopefully the next thing we can notify or end or soon is the winner of the giveaway. That would be cool. Really excited to do that. As well as want to send you guys those full peg vibes. Hopefully you're finding the cars you need in your hood. Um, if you're doing something fun this Memorial Day, be safe. If you're a veteran, thank you. Uh, although I have learned and perhaps this is the right platform to share with you not all veterans want to be thanked and I say that because recently I learned that how many veterans were drafted and um, may not have wanted to go if they ultimately had the choice so um, but we can appreciate them all man because Talk about something I didn't want to do. Not for this critter, but man, I appreciate you guys and ladies who who, who did choose to do so. So um, let's celebrate everyone. Let's celebrate my friend Papa. Leave a comment. I'm gonna make some waffles. I'll let you boy. Peace.